Hello, hello guys! This again, Drago42, to go with the Psycraft crew! Hey guys! Hey, Rago! Hello! Hey. Hello! Yeah, so, we got our newest member, Ita, here with us today. And as you can see, today it's all about chorus fruit. Or, in that case, more about the flowers. So, what we've got here is just on a basically random end island, a little chorus flower farm. Um, because, yeah, we need to get some starting chorus flowers and the thing is basically built to well make it as easy as possible to get a lot of flowers and yeah, in the end we just kill the stems here and quickly replant but as you can see you can very easily get more flowers than you put in unless you get attacked by an enderman um, ouch ah. go away alright um, yeah so the thing is as simple as it could get, so we have a bunch of things up here. So because of the trapdoors, the flower couldn't grow straight up. So it can only grow to the side and then it usually grows into multiple spots. Um, but yeah, we get at least one flower back, so we don't really make a loss. But quite often, we get some additional flowers. And that's pretty much all we need this place for. Well, of course we have a good use for the flowers we are collecting. And this wouldn't be, well, quite our style, would it? So, yep, we just keep planting some, getting some more flowers. Um, but yeah, we've got something I want to show you today that is even cooler and yields us quite a lot of chorus fruit. And unless someone has uh, something else to say about this place, I think we should head right over to the actual big farm and show you what's going on there. All right, now we are in our nether hub again, and well, at some point we finally fixed all the piston bolts here, um, so everything's now replaced also by a piston bolt, which was mainly work of D5, I think. Um, yeah, it would be nice if we didn't have to rebuild things yet again once 1.12 arrives. Um, so yeah, dear Mojang, don't mess with us all the time. Gets kind of frustrating. Anyways, for now they're still working, so... Let's hop right into one of those. So this leads us normally to our furnace array. And, well, makes sense to get chorus fl uh, fruit close to a furnace array. Obviously, so let's hop out here. Yeah, so this translocator here was replaced by piston bolt. It's a shame, the old one was really nice. But, we have a little side tunnel here. Well, kind of a fitting theme um, for a chorus flower farm. Of course, fruit. I, I keep mixing those up. But yeah, let's... Well, we get flowers from it. Yeah, right. We actually make a small profit by now. Also, they've shown on my channel before. Um, yeah, maybe let's explain it a bit more. So, if you push in a end stone under a chorus flower, then it would force it to grow. Um, so, we take uh, advantage of that by pushing in end stone below a chorus flower every game tick, and this way we can grow a, f a f chorus flower up to sky limit basically. Um, yeah, let's just turn it on. So. Yeah, so you can see we are pretty here, much at the bottom of the started. world. Mm -hmm. um, so we get the most out of it. And you can already see there's a lot of stuff dropping down. Which is quite impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you also get supplied for a new flower here. Uh, so you can yeah 
keep planting, you can AFK here basically. Yep. So yeah, we're oh, collecting yeah. a crap ton of uh, coarse fruit then. And we get a new one. So yeah, we just have a small supply down here. Um, I can actually add mine. But yeah, this would now just consume the flowers, right? So yeah, at the moment it does. We try to. Mm -hmm. uh, can someone drop one? So we just place it against the observer here, which then triggers the whole mechanism. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. Um, we could actually make it faster and a bit easier to build by now. But yeah, this is still good enough for us. This was the first version. It's it's still good enough. We get 180,000 chorus fruit from this per hour. Yeah. So one of the main challenges is actually to make sure everything stays inside the cell and you don't pick anything up. But yeah, once it's going, it's working really nicely. So as you can see, some of the stuff would get pushed out with the next iteration. But just running in here very quickly, uh, I already had two stacks. Yeah, most uh, time spent was on trying to get as many flowers as possible because they tend to glitch everywhere. But now we get a return rate for, of above ninety nine percent. Yep. So. So with a lot of water streams and so on. It's quite complicated. Um, the version I've shown already, the channel of tutorial is a little bit simpler than this one. Um, yeah, but it's since it's working fine. Yeah. So yeah, we need all kind of tricks to collect everything, even that stuff that glitches out. So we have those glass tubes here on the side and of course blocking every spot where something could get stuck um, unless it's not possible because we need a repeater. And yeah, this makes it a bit difficult to build, but I think it's clearly worth it. Um, because mm -hmm. yeah, we so, produce quite so a lot also of also is that we get the flowers back if we use this with two players. So maybe somebody could stay down and we'll head up yep. upstairs. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just stay down. Okay. Yeah, so in this case we, we don't have an elevator, but we can just fly we up. We have rockets. <laughs> yep. They're cheap. And will I manage? Uh, oh, out, out, out. Made it. Yeah. It was a bit harder initially when the platform was smaller. Let's see when Still people failing. arrive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take a rocket and uh, boost yeah, in and crash smooth. into the wall <laughs> or something. Um, so, yeah. That's basically the top. Uh, maybe someone can quickly plant a flower. We'll take a few I mean, seconds uh, to come up. But yeah, I mean, this is now 250 blocks almost that it yeah. has to travel. Yeah, um, I mean, it gets sent once every game tick, but still takes quite a while. Yeah, it takes like 12, 12? seconds or so. Hmm. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we get some stuff popping out here, and. We are standing here, we can actually hold down with our axe and just chop the flowers away here on the side. Occasionally we also get two flowers, which is nice. Yeah. That's why we make a profit even. Yeah, so basically you can see that the farm spreads out a bit, so there's a little more space here on the top layer, um, which means the flowers can grow to the side every now and then. So if I continuously hold my axe here, um, yeah, we sometimes get an additional one, which makes up also for potential losses. Because it's hard to, to really contain 100%, but even if we only contain 99%, we still make a small profit over time. And yeah, the flowers would just fall down, and the, uh, the other player at the bottom would pick it up. Yeah. Or, well, we, we basically have an item filter in the system, which picks them up, yeah, puts exactly. it in the dropper, and feeds it to the player at the bottom. So yeah, unfortunately this farm requires two players, but since there's not much you have to do, um, it's fairly easy to set it up. Um, but yeah, it took quite some time to build. Uh, because yeah, the wiring is of course a bit complex. Uh, I think we can stop for now. So yeah, the only thing we really need to supply is of course a bunch of axes here. Um, we don't need the high enchanted ones, like a normal unbreaking 3, efficiency 3 is sufficient. And yeah, with that we get quite a lot of coarse fruit. Uh, Mango, do you know the rates by heart? Fruit, 180k, and flower is approximately 100. Okay. There's so, also some factors like lag and so on. If somebody gets a lag spike, you might miss a flower. And, uh, it's hard to say, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, for the f 
about the flowers 100. it's quite difficult to judge but yeah. about 100k fruit is 180 uh, 180 yeah sorry um it's quite a decent amount i'd say um let's try to get an impression of this tower while flying around it yeah unfortunately it's a bit dark um yeah i'll show this a bit in detail but let's also head down if i manage we to also had some crash. weird issues when we try to make it faster that um, the client would glitch out and, and entities wouldn't be processed um but by now we also solved this issue we could make it faster now but it's fast enough really yeah so there's like we decided against rebuilding it once we had an easier to build version um because yeah it's really fast enough and there's not much to be gained so at 180k mm -hmm. items per hour this is already pretty close to being bound uh bounded by the lack of the items mm -hmm. so there's not much point in and 180k further. items already requires a lot of logistic maybe if we head upstairs we can oh, yeah. see the shulker box packing system because we could just click grief in there um, take a look yeah maybe i want to lead the way uh, oh, box a quick side note ah. the reason why it's so dark around the tower is because we made the roof so we don't have uh, as much light updates or we don't have light lag so yeah, that's a pretty large Can, uh, can somebody run the farm a little bit so we can see the items coming in? Yeah, that, mm. Okay, enemies going. So yeah, things are coming up here from an item elevator. And once enemy gets the farm going... Should be able to see this thing in action. Yeah, you can see it down there. Now they're in the item elevator. So yeah, items are coming up now. Uh, it's just Mango's item elevator here with the trapdoors, which works pretty fine. Um, oh, we got an enemite. Get away. So, now for the first few flowers, of course, the first top can pick it up easily. But, oops, as you can see, they quickly fill up and... Well, it's going to fill up uh, much faster than the hoppers could process things. So we need to parallelize this quite a bit. Um, so mm -hmm. how many hoppers do we have here in total? Uh, that's 20. Yep, so that's... What is it? 50 items per second that they could process. And yeah, we pretty much need that. Yep. <laughs> so they all fill shulker boxes in parallel because with 180k you don't want to store this in regular chests. Why is there some gunpowder? Um, there was a creeper. <laughs> I took oops. care of it. <laughs> um, it's not maybe perfectly you take care of that. back here. Normally <laughs> nobody goes here. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. And normally we have a mob switch. So, oh, yeah. yeah, we have a pretty compact and tileable uh, shulker box loader here, which I think is really mm. nice. And yeah, unfortunately, we can't open them. But here we have some new shulker boxes, which can uh, get dispensed. So they. Basically, let's get the tick from this observer that pushes this one out, uh, off. Then, yeah, the slap here causes it to break. And the hopper picks it up. And then we simply have shulker boxes, which we store in this little storage over here. Um, yeah, this looks quite small, but since all the chests are filled with shulker boxes, this is actually quite a lot. So let's take... So here we have the look. empty shulker boxes stored. Oh, yeah. And I think we already used up quite a bit of the storage here. Uh, yeah, so the stuff on the right here is already empty. Um, we also have some yeah, shocker box to craft new ones here. Everything oh, yeah. you need. Yeah, so everything gets stored here. And as you can see, this is nicely filled with chorus fruit. Uh, not quite full yet but quite a lot of it is filled we already smelt a lot so yeah yeah and yeah that <laughs> of course makes it quite convenient that we are so close to the uh, furnace array because we can just go through the nether portal walk a few blocks and we are at our big furnace array to smelt everything um actually we, we could fly up again and show how close they are in the overworld um because they are almost next to each other oh yep just over here so you might remember this one, the furnace arrays are quite old, with the charcoal maker here. Our train station to the flower farm. 
Then here the actual furnace array and a bunch of tree farms. So one spruce tree farm, mostly to make charcoal, and one general tree farm for all kind of trees. Yeah, so since this is so nice close to each other, um, yeah, it makes it quite convenient to smelt everything and get the popped calls fruit. Ouch. That almost failed. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, but you don't have to do this uh, that often. Because yeah, if we AFK here for a few hours um, with two players, then we're pretty much stocked. And yeah, we got all the purple blocks we need after that. So anything else? Anything that we forgot? I don't think so. So yeah, it's a rather short episode, but we hope to be back soon with another one. Um, which is a bit of a bigger scale project. But yeah, until then, hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.